guys. So I want to give you an overview of our next assignment. We're going to be doing graduation speeches. Um, so it's going to come with this pre-writing assignment and then this uh, place where you can actually write your assignment. So let's look at the brainstorm first here. So what I'm looking for here is I just want you to think about this question. What is the purpose of the graduation speech? And why do we do speeches when we have an event that we want to commemorate and remember for a long time? Okay. Um, so just spend some time thinking about all the, the events and occasions for which we expect people to give speeches and what the purpose is behind each of them. Okay. So for example, funerals, we give eulogies in order to um, commemorate the life of a person or to remember a positive memory about them. Uh, so what, what is the purpose of a graduation speech and why do we give these kind of speeches? And I just want to know what your thoughts are about that, those big questions. And then I want you to use that information that you self discover to write a graduation speech. So um, not all of you are seniors, but um, what I would like for you guys to do here is uh, write a graduation speech. And for those of you guys that are in person, we're, we're going we're gonna to deliver these. Um, and that's how you are going to be graded. Uh, so uh, those of you who aren't, I'm just going to read it. Um, but so I want you to shoot for a four to six minute delivery time. And what I want you to do is capture the tone of your class's personality. So each class that we have come through Berkeley Springs High School has a different personality. And, uh, you know, they each kind of mean different things to us as teachers and to each other as classmates. So think about that a little bit. Okay. Um, and then something else I want to point out to you is that this needs to be written as a speech. And um, people who write speeches uh, realize that we don't always speak the way that we write. And those are two different things. And writing a speech is a different skill set. So as you read this out loud, I want you to consider whether or not your speech is is actually, does it read like a speech or does it read like a story or an essay? Okay. And then here's some other tips to get you started. This is the rubric here. Um, so to get an A, you have to have a well-organized speech. It has to be constructed clearly. Um, it has to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Um, the student speech needs to judge the audience's reaction. So you need to, you need to try to solicit a reaction from your audience. Um, and you need to rehearse it and deliver it well. Okay. So that's your assignment for this week. Uh, be in touch if you need any help brainstorming or if you have any questions.